なんちゃとジャムスゲー That was Mark Malman with Traveling High Before that we had Pour Me In by Tai Pao and the Holy North They are playing on July 7th at Dave Black Brewing Before that Muscle Car with Wish Book Traffic by Art Vandalay. Art is playing July 4th at Langford Park in St. Paul. So I think that sounds like it's going to be a free show. So something fun to do on the 4th of July. And before that, we had Root River Jam with Leave This Town. And I think they're from Rochester and they're playing sometime soon too. You'll just have to look that one up because I'm just excited. Actually, there's July 7th at Rochester at Foraging Brewing. And I'm going to remind folks that you're listening to Mostly Minnesota Music on WMCN 91.7 FM on the beautiful McAllister College campus in St. Paul. And I'm delighted to have Ivy of Poison Ivy in the studio with me. Hello, everyone. Hello. So welcome. Happy to be here. Welcome. I'm delighted that you're able to join us. Tell us a little bit about your music and how you came to music. Um, well, I started writing music when I was a young kid um, and for a long long time it was really just sort of a personal catharsis almost like journaling um, for me it was nothing that I felt intent on sharing even though I always have um, been a performer and actor and have been drawn to the stage my own music was kind of just for my own emotional processing and stuff like that um and then there were some songs i would share here and there and then a couple of years ago i played a song for some people and it just felt really good and i was like wow i should totally just keep doing this and perform it <laughs> what, what what gave you the bravery the impetus to do it the first time um i mean the, the first time i was probably I think I was at summer camp um, oh, and there was okay. like a acoustic fest show or something and I just almost I like did some stupid kid shit and like brought edibles to camp and almost got kicked out <laughs> and then was all emo about it and wrote a song in the studio while it was raining really hard outside. Um, I could just so, picture it. It just—I was like, everyone needs to hear this song. <laughs> I have something very important to say, that, which you do, which everyone does. But it's and sometimes it's those songs that you find. It, it doesn't really matter how old you are; you can remember being that kid. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, I can't. The world is against me. I can't believe. Yeah. Why, why could I not bring edibles to camp? You know, <laughs> it was exactly. so unfair. So unfair. So unfair. <laughs> Did you did you have music lessons or are you self taught? Um, well, I grew up doing musical theater, so I've always been a singer. Um, and in high school, I went to LaGuardia, which is a performing arts school in New York, okay. um, and I went there for vocal music. So I um, got two years of classical singing training there. Nice. Um, and then a couple of years ago, I just kind of wanted to learn the guitar. Um, before that, I had been writing on piano mostly, which I had some lessons as a kid. Um, and then sheet music was kind of drilled into our heads in singing school. Um, but yeah, kind of self-taught the last couple of years, kind of learned some stuff from friends. And then a couple months ago, I started taking guitar lessons for the first time wow. um, at House of Music with my teacher, Brad, who's really, really amazing. Um, and yeah, it turns out he also was, um, Poison Ivy's drummer, Zeke, who's also my best friend, was Zeke's first guitar teacher as a kid. Oh, um, so that's fantastic. kind of a fun coincidence. With, with such formal training, what do, you, what do you think you've taken away from that? You're really glad you learned. And what do you think you've had to say, ooh, I got to figure out a different way to do mm, that? Good question. Um, it's definitely like... I did have a lot of vocal training growing up, even before high school. I had voice lessons and I was in lots of musicals. Um, and I'm very, very grateful for all of that training because, you know, your vocal cords are a muscle. And I think with I, I wouldn't be able to sing the stuff I can sing if I hadn't gotten that training. So I'm really grateful 
for that. Um, even the, you know, German, Italian, French opera that we had to do. Wow. That wasn't my favorite, but I learned a lot. Um, so I don't think that's necessarily something I long to revisit. Um, but I think it, it, it trained my voice in a way to be really versatile. Well, and to be able to, I was just saying to somebody, I, I have done a, a few triathlons. I would never say they were fun. I never want to do another one. But I was so proud of myself when I did it. And you must have the same sort of feeling. Like, I did that, and it was in a different language, and it exactly. sounded good. And yeah. I never have to do it again, but damn it, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and really the struggle writing in the last while has been feeling kind of limited by my guitar skills. Um, and I can feel myself getting better, you know, because oh. I play all the time and I practice and now I'm taking lessons. So like, you know, when I'm like, oh, I, I can now do this thing that I couldn't do two months ago. That's really cool. I know I'm getting better, but the progress is slow. So that's just how it goes with learning skills. And it's frustrating, but, um, you know, I love it. So. It's slow to you because you're on the inside, but it is nice when you can see the difference and feel the difference. Exactly. Or hear the difference, I guess, is probably the better way to, yeah. Feel it in my, in my hands. That I, somebody who I think is going to be on the show later in the season, Spencer, just saw saw her play last night at um, Palmer's. Oh, from Whoa. Up the Jesse's Comb? Yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa. Watching those hands across She's the... amazing. It was really... Oh, my God. Yeah, no, Spencer's the fucking best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you like to play a song? I would love to play a song. Okay. Um... And sorry, I'm my language. <laughs> we're just gonna go right by but that. We're just gonna forget <laughs> about it. We're just gonna say that's one of those fancy Italian words you learned. It is, yeah. No, totally a different language. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start off playing this song. So we just recorded the single "All My Friends," which is a song that we've Good. been playing since our first show. Um, I wrote a couple of years ago. Um, it's very special to me. Um, and yeah, we're, we're figuring out what we, what we want to do in terms of like releasing it and just what we want to do with this master that we have. Um, but I'm really excited about it and I'm going to play it. Awesome. are 
each other for emotional support. We need each other. We can do this together. My friends, they all want a revolution. They want a resolution that puts them first. My friends, despite all the pollution, they're getting stronger. Your voice is amazing. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate the message of the song. Thank you. Yeah. yeah it was a lot of fun uh, recording it. It was kind of a new experience for me. I don't have any past experience recording a song in that way. Um, and it's very, very different from performing. Like, just the process of getting ready to record versus rehearsing for a show. Um, and it felt a little... Um, hard at times because I kind of just am the type of person who wants to just get on stage and and be there with people but it's rewarding in a different way you know it's kind of creating a different product um, so did you go into a studio to do it um, yeah so a friend of mine Matt from Robot Slide you know that band they're awesome um, has a studio um, out in St. Paul, um, and he let us record there and and uh, mix this up for us, nice. and it's a really beautiful studio. Um, so yeah, nice, nice. Well, then talk a little bit about the theme of the music too. I, uh, I I've been thinking back to twenty twenty quite a bit this year as I watch things that are happening in Paris right now. You know, they're ha going through the same riots that we did mm -hmm. three years ago pretty much but and I don't know if that is what inspired this or I mean it just there's it's so much of Minneapolis I think yeah too but we were on the front lines of some of that for so much that um, definitely yeah yeah I think um, there there were a lot of new relationships and communities um, that came out of you know, such horrific events and intense times um, and really like powerful coming comings together. Yeah. Um, yeah, the song really, it's about a, a community that I was living in where we all cared so much about each other and about the world that we forgot to take care of our house and do the dishes oh. <laughs> and um, sometimes like you really just need to maintain your space to be able to do all of the other things that we need to do yeah um, we, it's hard it's hard when there are things that really need to happen yeah but you need a night of sleep too yeah I mean you, you got to be stronger for the next day That's I, true. Yeah, I mean I think it many of us lived have lived some of that where you're like oh, I'm, I'm going out on the front lines again or sustainability yeah yeah there was a, a little sticker above the sink in this house that said everyone wants a revolution but no one wants to do the dishes so that's kind of where the hook in the chorus comes from um it's makes for a little comedic relief <laughs> it is it's perfect I, world. I hear it a little differently with having having three children because <laughs> <laughs> i'm like come on now come on now i'll support you in that but i it's true though it's you don't Taking care of yourself, taking care of the things right immediately around you are, it's hard to do it. it it's is. hard to remind, you know, and it's, you get caught up, but it, but it is important. Do you want to play another song? Have you had enough of a rest? Yeah, I can play another song. Okay. Um, perhaps I'll play this one. It's called Babe. Babe. And I'm going to remind folks that they're listening to Ivy from Poison Ivy with Babe. Babe, you're in for a good, good time if you want.
humor it's thank you <laughs> yes yes so we can all picture little moments we all think of somebody who yeah somebody sings a song it definitely um you know sounds a bit toxic a little bit of that a little like bit, yeah like you know you're being mean to me come kiss me you know you're a bully come here yeah <laughs> Is the contradictions of right. ro, 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 romance. Rachel's having to say, it sounds toxic, but you know, in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what and we so tell ourselves. Wrong. Exactly. Exactly. Until we find ourselves weeping in the bright cornflakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's very. In the cornflakes. You know. <laughs> you think you're doing okay. You think that, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, because sometimes we don't see that side of people that, like, well, they're just very strong and passionate. No, they're just bullies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Turns and trying out. to convince yourself that something is, like, fun or it's, like, oh, that's just, like, how they are. It's, like, actually, you're just being mean to me. You're just, yeah. That wasn't funny. That, yeah. 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 No. 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 Very fun. <laughs> but uh, tell me some of the stuff you're working on now. Because you're, you're working on a lot of different things. Yeah. It seems like. Yeah, I am. Um, I... I'm in another band, also, called K.O. Love, with some other awesome musicians. We have a show this w coming Wednesday at Mortimer's okay. um, on the 5th of July. Okay. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, and as far as like my songwriting goes, these days um, I think I'm going to be playing some more solo shows coming up, and um, kind of like taking my songwriting with a more specific focus on like you know, being enough just with me and my guitar before I invite other musicians to like, you know, make it into something else that's really awesome and, and fun and different. Um, 
just wanting to feel confident in myself. There was a show I played um, a bit ago at Golden Goose Lounge where um, the whole band was gonna play and then something happened and they ended up not being available um, and I didn't wanna drop out. So I was like, okay, like I'm just gonna play alone. Yeah. Why not? Good so, for you. And I was totally afraid and terrified, but I did it and it was kind of empowering and kind of taking me on this drive towards, um, okay, what can I just create without, you know, bringing a song to other people without necessarily having a full vision of what it is or what I see. Um, and, and then being able to say like, hey, can you play drums on this? Yeah. What can we do with the song that is already a thing in and of itself? How can we expand it rather than like, um, you know, just just moving through through songwriting with trying to have a clearer vision. Um, yeah, and I'm also um, about to start rehearsals for a play Ooh. called The May. Uh, M A I. It's an Irish play by Marina Carr. <gasps> Marina Carr. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that gas. Oh, I haven't, I have not, I, it's been many years since I've read Marina Carr stuff. Yeah. I've seen some of her stuff in stage oh, yeah. in Dublin. She's yes. So good. Oh, she had a play where there was, you're not a shower curtain in this, are you? Because the play that I saw, I think Stillman was a shower curtain. I'm and not I, a shower curtain. Oh, in this I just love, <laughs> sorry. I just have not heard that That's name really in so exciting. long. Tell me, yes, tell me more about yeah, it. Yeah, um, there's a company called Out of the Mist Celtic Theater, um, and they're putting it on, and I'm playing this character, Millie. It's a very, Another one of those really tragic, dysfunctional Irish, <laughs> like, addiction, family yeah. issue plays. Um, but this one is uh, very, like, you know, femme forward. And, like, I I've watched some of Marina Carr's talks online, and she talks a lot about, like, female rage. And um, that comes through in this play a lot. I'm excited to, to work well, on well, it. Well, I will definitely be going to... She, uh, to have a master's degree in Irish literature, she was one of the up-and-coming playwrights back then. Oh, wow. So she is, yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. a good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be it. So you'll have to, well, do you, do you know where it will be performed? It's going to be performed at the Crane Theater in Northeast. Okay. Um, the first two weeks of September. Okay. I, I, that is fantastic. I have not heard that, obviously, I was taken aback by, <laughs> I have not heard that name in a long time. That's very exciting. Yeah, Congratulations. Excited, I will you. absolutely be putting that on the calendar. Amazing. We'll mention it here a bunch of times. So that's how do you balance all of that? I mean it's um we'll see. <laughs> honestly, Google Calendar. I would not be able to do and this is not an ad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I I do have a pretty packed schedule. Um, and I wouldn't be able to keep up with the, all the things that I do if I didn't immediately put everything in my Google Calendar, um, because scheduling can be such a headache. But yeah. I do, I, I, you know, my, my life goal has always been to figure out how to be in more than one place at a time, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to figure that one out. So for now, just color code the schedule. Very good. Very good. And I'm not an organized person, I promise. But well, but you, you are if you use a calendar. You know, right. you're you're, you gotta you're training yourself. You gotta yeah. be somewhere. I mean, that's it may not be the most natural feeling thing to yeah. you, but showing that, up is important to me. Yeah. So, and gotta that's... know where to be and when to be there. Yeah, absolutely. Would you like to play another song? Yeah, maybe I'll play a new song. Um, I did actually do a live stream of the song on Instagram the other day too because okay. I was sick with COVID and lonely and wanted to try oh. to connect with the world in some way. Um, but yeah, it's pretty new. It's called Flashback. Hopefully I remember all the words and can continue to filter as I say. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
the need to bleed. Flashback in time when we play deeply. It's just a crime carried out completely. Flashback to a time when we weren't ruled by anything, not the gods or the people, not the laws or the You're listening to Mostly Minnesota Music on WMCN 91.7 FM in St. Paul. We have Ivy of Poison Ivy in studio. Hello. Hello. Playing flashback. Playing flashback. Now, if you could flash forward, what would you like to what would you like to see? Like when you think of if you were think of picture yourself a year from now flashing back to now, and what would you like to see happen in the last year? Like in the world? To you, really. Or to you me. can answer however you want. I'm... <laughs> oh, well, maybe I'll try to zoom in a little bit. I was going to say, I maybe I'm not zooming out too far. Um, well, I want to play a bunch of shows. Being on stage is kind of when I'm happiest, sharing that experience yep. with, the, with an audience. Um, yeah, I want to play a lot of shows. I'd like to record some more stuff. That'd be really cool. I, I really want to, what would be cool, I think, as, not necessarily as, like, my goal, but as, as a process of growth is, like, writing songs, maybe, like, intentionally writing an album or an EP. Okay. And, like, and, like, I don't know, doing some garage band art with it and, like, putting something together that's, like, okay, this is, this is my thing and, like, it has a cohesive story, um... And now, like, let me get all my musician friends to come and play yeah. with me. Um, 
actually what comes to mind now that I've been thinking about um, along the lines of that but less like the recording stuff would be awesome but also I want to write like I want to think of it kind of like a musical um, but like a, like a band set that has like a, a through line plot that's like you know we're playing out at the bars yeah. or whatever um, but it, it there is a story there um, yeah I, I wanna I wanna I wanna write a musical or maybe like a some some along the lines of musical esque I'm not thinking like spectacle other than the stage um, but but putting together a set that has a, a through line. You um, could, would be really cool. Let, Kiss the Tiger did Stone Baby last year, two years ago. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, you'll have to see it because it very much takes the music. And, and Megan Kreidler, the lead singer, she, I mean, she's been on the Guthrie. She's a, yeah. Yeah, she's I'm an a actress. I'm a huge of, fan of hers. Yeah. I was in the same acting program that she did actually for a bit. So oh, I feel wow. especially connected um, through the, that, I guess. Um, but she's incredible. She did a nice job of doing, I mean, it, it, was a, it was a kind of a rock opera, but it was as much concert as it was. You know, she's she's so theatrical, theatrical, and I've seen you be very theatrical on stage as well. It was maybe the first avenue uh, Christmas party or something, but yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, you're, you're very engaging, therapy. very engaging, <laughs> which helps considerably. But I, something like that, as opposed to you know, you don't necessarily need to do Quadrophenia or right the Music Man. Yeah, you know, you're um, not yeah. picturing anything <laughs> like that, but something that I, that would be a fun thing to do. Yeah, and to take kind of your talking about how playing solo for a while or writing songs by yourself and having the the experience and the confidence to take it to others, I think, yeah. you know. Confidence. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what it, you know, yeah. it's, we, we all need it. Because I think it takes a real confidence to share something with someone creatively and let them add into it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, my brother's a chef. He doesn't want anyone saying you need more salt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah. he, he's okay with it now because he really is very good. But it's, it really takes the confidence to say, yeah, you're right. That would be a, you know, not necessarily to change it, but to, to modify it. As you said, yeah. you were saying, here, let's do something interesting with the drums. Totally. But it, it takes a real confidence to trust the other people and have them trust you. And Yeah. I think just that. having a little bit more, uh... Yeah, confidence in myself and just like certainty in my vision will allow that process to be so Absolutely. much more like fulfilling and collaborative. Yeah. Well, that maybe that will happen in the next year. Yeah. I hope so. But uh, we we had mentioned before the one you're playing at Riverfest. There there was no transition to that comment of mine. But there you go. Tell us about where people can see you coming um, up. Yeah. So Riverfest. I'm gonna be going out of town for a bit. Um, in the beginning of July, I'm going back home to New York where I grew up, um, and I'm going to see if there's any open mics or anything I can oh. do while I'm out there, because um, that would be fun. But when I get back, uh, I'm going to be doing a little short solo set at Riverfest um, on July 22nd at 5.45. It's a um, little like house show festival all day with a bunch of really cool bands, nice. um, an artist, two stages. Um, yeah, hope to see you there. Yeah, Thanks hopefully to... with, that, with any luck, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the time, and I'm going to see if uh, if you'd like to play us one last song, and then we'll... Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll play one last song. How about... Yeah. Okay. I'll play one last song. This one's called Robot Ghost. Um... You can find me on Instagram at Poison Ivy the Band or at Groovy Wolf Bug. Um, here's Robot Ghost. <laughs> Validated ill 
about Ghost by Ivy from Poison Ivy. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. This was really fun. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> Go back to some recorded music now. We've got Halloween Alaska with State Trooper. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow.